Hope everybody did their homework from the end of the last video. We're using the honor system here. The interface identifier, that's what we're coming up with. We need it for the interface fast ethernet 00 on our live IP version 6 router. And we use the MAC address to make that happen, but we have to know how to convert it to the interface identifier because it is not the interface identifier by itself. The MAC address is 00ED7A4F4A0. We're going to split that sucker right in half and put FFFE in the middle. Then we've got 000ED7FFFEA4F4A0. Now for that bit inversion. When you convert each one of those zeros to binary, we know what that's going to look like, all zeros. But what we have to do is invert the seventh bit. And that's just fancy talk for saying if it's a one, make it a zero. If it's a zero, make it a one. Well, that seventh bit is definitely a zero, so we're going to make it a one. Now, we still have zero, 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 zero for the first character, so that's going to remain a zero. But now the second character is zero, zero, one, zero, so with the 2-bit set, that equals 0, 2. You take that 0, 2, and you put it in the address in place of the 0, 0 at the beginning of the identifier. And we have 0, 2, 0, E, D7, F, 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 E, A, 4, F, 4, A, 0. Now, what kind of compression, zero compression, if any, can we do on this interface identifier, this part of the link local address? Remember that this address begins with FE80 and then is followed by zero compression of three blocks of zeros. So since we've already used zero compression once in this particular address, we can't do it again, but we couldn't do it here anyway with the interface identifier. It's rare that you're going to be able to do zero compression on the interface identifier part of the address anyway, but the only thing we can do is drop that one leading zero in the 0 to 0 e block. The other zeros have to stay. So we can compress, but not very much. We're left with an interface identifier of 20e, d7ff, fea4, f4a0. Is that correct? Let's check out the live equipment and see because the live equipment does not lie. I run show IP v6 interface fast 00. Here's the link local address, and after the fe80, look at what we've got here. 20E, D7FF, FEA4, F4A0. Spot on. Could not be any better. That's exactly how you do it, and that is exactly the kind of thing I'd be ready to do on exam day. It's one of those things that the router is going to do by itself, and we don't pay any attention to it, but for certification exams, we have to know exactly what's going on there. Remember that that address began with FE80 followed by three blocks of zeros, but we were able to use zero compression to compress those three blocks of zeros. Then the interface, excuse me, interface identifier is tacked right on the end and it matches exactly what we came up with. Now, you can hard code a link local address. And you can do that with a version, an option of the IPv6 address. We've seen this a couple of times with this command where we ran iOS help and we saw IPv6 link local address. Unless you have an overwhelming reason to do this, someone's making you do it perhaps uh, at work, I would just leave my link local addresses alone. They work beautifully just the way they are. Uh, if you do configure your own, you have to abide by those link local address rules we talked about earlier. So frankly, it is easier just to let the router come up with them on its own. But by golly, for the exam, we better know exactly what's going on there. We're going to stop there for a moment, and on the very next video, we're going to talk about the sinister-sounding EUI64 process and see what part of the address that can come up with that does not involve us statically configuring it. So we'll be right back with that video. I'll see you there.